Hello everybody and welcome back to every stage of Mage Builds. So, here are the timestamps we're going to be discussing early game, mid game, and late game. And if you fall somewhere in between, that's fine. You'll be able to work together tips from both of these and get them all together. So, first off, before we continue, please subscribe, leave a like, and comment on the video. It really helps me and it will help this video be seen by more people and be pushed out to a wider audience. So I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. So first off, starting with early game. You've just started, you have very few coins, and you don't want to invest a lot into dungeons. So first off, why are you doing dungeons? <laughs> Your time could be better spent doing literally everything else in the game, including like farming for coins, mining, farming in general, building farms on your island, literally doing anything else rather than dungeons, because you're not going to do that well, and it's not going to help you get any coins. But if you have to, like you want to play with your friends or something, you want to get wise hardened diamond armor or wise lapis armor, because they're cheap and they're going to be pretty useful for the rest of your game experience. You're going to want a weapon, either the Silver Fang or the Raider's Axe. The Raider's Axe is a very much more expensive option, but you'll be really happy you got it, and it will be really good for the rest of your Skyblock career until you hit more mid-game levels of weapons. You're also going to want to collect the Dreadlord Sword from Dungeons, as that's going to be your best damage dealer, and you're going to end up just spamming that as much as possible as your mage ability damage. So you also want to get all of your talismans on Bazaar, as that will give you the maximum mana, as you probably won't have that much starting off in the game. And, of course, you want to collect your fairy souls. Don't even try without collecting your fairy souls. Just do your fairy souls. And with this set, you can only do entrance. That is the bare minimum for entrance as well. Like, you will not do well. Moving on to mid game. You've got a strong foundation and you're ready to start really investing in dungeons. This opens up a lot more possibilities for us. So, what I'd recommend is something like zombie soldier armor with either the bonzo mask or the shadow goggles. It's got more health and defense than necrotic wise dragon armor, unstarred of course, but we're assuming that you don't have the catacombs requirement to put like tons of stuff into your armor and make them dungeon items. So that's why we're not up to wise dragon armor yet. So currently, a full set of this is obtainable for 150,000, not including the optional Bonzo Mask or Shadow Goggles. And I think the Bonzo Mask only goes for around 200, 300k right now. So that's not a big investment, especially a mid-game player. You should have a decent amount of coins on hand, like around a million, two million to spend. So you need Catacombs level 9, unfortunately. So you may want to grind a little bit before end, just doing entrance to try to get up to Catacombs level 9. And, of course, this armor is going to need repairs over time, but it's much cheaper than dragon armor, so they play off each other a bit. Moving on, you're either going to want the Ink Wand or Bonzo Staff, and this is where most of your money is going to go. So the Ink Wand is high damage and for low mana, but it has 30 seconds of cooldown, so you'll deal 10,000 damage for only 60 mana, but that's a long time to wait, and those currently go for around 1.6 million coins. Next is the Bonzo Staff, which costs 100 mana to use and is 1,000 damage, but it has no cooldown, so you can just spam that if you've got tons of mana. And that's really helpful in dungeons, because waiting 60 seconds, or 30 seconds, sorry, it may not feel like a long time, but it really, it really is in dungeons. And that is currently around 1.7 million coins for your Bonzo Staff. Uh, if you can get both, go for it, because you can swap over to the Ink Wand when you get the ability time use that for like bigger fights and then take the bonzo staff out and just spam that so if you can get both go for it but if you can't just pick the bonzo staff probably so the voodoo doll is another thing that you can get this one i'd really recommend it deals fifteen thousand percent of your intelligence fifteen hundred percent of your intelligence as damage to any mob that is hit by its arrow it's got a cooldown of only 5 seconds, which is a little long, but not that much. Costs 200 mana, which is a little high, but it deals lots of damage with good intelligence, and you'll admit you're a mage, so you'll have really good intelligence. And it's also really cheap, around 800k in today's market. So let's say you had, like, 200 mana. That's really low, but you could end up doing, like, you could end up doing 3,000 damage with only 200 mana, and that keeps scaling upwards. The only con for this is you need to be Zombie Slayer 5 to use it, which is a bit of a large ask for mid-game. But if you can get it, go for it. It's great and it's useful. You'll end up using it. And finally, you're going to want the Epic Sheep Pet. At 100, 
they'll give you 100 intelligence, 50 ability damage, and reduce the cost of your abilities by 20% in terms of mana, and give you a 10% shield after not taking damage for 10 seconds. That is pretty good. And they're not actually that expensive. I got mine for, I think, under a mil, which was, I think, really good. But you can probably get one for around that price if you look hard enough. So the only pet that increases damage ability, it's good for mages. And pet gives lots of extra mana, even without being legendary. Legendary is much better, though, as you'll see on the top. Um, Dungeon Wizard increases your total mana by 25% while in dungeons if you have the legendary sheep pet. And honestly, that will make a huge difference. So if you can afford the legendary variant, definitely go for it because it's going to be really helpful later on. So all the obvious things, bizarre talismans, fairy souls, collect all of those. Moving on to late game. You've got a lot of money and you're willing to spend most of it on dungeons because this stuff gets expensive. So mythic five star wide dra wise dragon armor. This is recombobulated five star completely maxed wise dragon armor. This has insane statistics. It's an ultimate mage flex. It's really expensive and you need catacombs level 28, which is absolute insanity. That's going to take so long. But right now, from what I can tell, this is the best armor for mage. What you can also do is if you don't have as much, as much intelligence with this is you can swap from five star crystal armor, then back to the wise dragon armor in the dungeon's waiting lobby and you'll get more mana from the crystal armor but that actually might not be true when it's five starred i've never owned a five starred set of this and i probably never will so <laughs> do it if you have the money for it it's probably great from what i can tell moving on yeah this is the all of the stats look at that intelligence on the leggings you get plus 275 intelligence then you add necrotic that's plus 200 then the five star that's plus another 900 intelligence and that works for all of them that is in insane like that is tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of intelligence that you're getting just from five starring it which is rather expensive and of course that's recombobulated with like good reforges on it and stuff so it's definitely going to be an expensive proposition but that's the most mana you can possibly get so the best mage weapon with the most money is midas staff it deals massive amounts of damage some upwards of forty-one thousand damage per hit and the ability bonus of this item is dependent on the price, just like the Midas Sword, hence the Midas Staff name. But the maximum bonus is 100 million coins, which makes this an insane proposition to buy. That's 16,000 damage extra, though, so you gotta weigh that in. So this actually deals more damage than the Yeti Sword now, making the Yeti Sword kind of obsolete. But it does cost 500 mana, but it only has a one second cooldown. And the biggest negative is it costs 100 million coins cheese who can afford that i definitely can't moving on we've got the yeti sword it costs 60 million coins now with the midas staff coming out that is probably going to get lower i think i saw one for 57 million recently and they're probably going to keep going down so that might be a good thing to buy now but it also might not be because the prices might keep falling Another one is the Spirit Scepter. This is really popular recently. It's only 23 million coins, and it's quite good. It's especially good for, like, clearing a room, getting lots of mobs out of there. Really nice. Maybe you get it both with the Midas Staff, but odds are you probably won't really need it. And, of course, you'll want the Legendary Sheep Pet. If you want to learn more about that, I just covered it a few minutes ago in the mid-game section, if you just skipped here through the timestamp. And all of the ob obvious things, but this time you want all of bizarre recombobulated talismans. So get them. That gives you the maximum reforge stats that you can possibly get with the maximum intelligence. And you're gonna want all of the fairy souls. Now, that might be a bit obvious at this point, but some people might still not have them. So you should definitely get all of the fairy souls. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100, 100 subscribers. So. Hopefully we can hit that by 2021. That would be really nice. So yeah, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. But wait, before we go, credits on this video, presentation template by SlidesGo, icons from Flat Icon, images and infographics from Pixabay, Unsplash, the Hypixel Skyblock Wiki, Leo Cthul on YouTube, and SkyLeoMo. Thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>